new day dawned and I was getting ready to do my usual sinful things. As I checked the news while drinking my morning coffee, a news piece came up about this Salome person, an assassin with a hefty bounty on her head. She was announced to be heading back to the bubble with some important news, important enough that apparently the big powers did not want anyone to hear. The bounty stated that we were not to make any contact with Salome or any of her followers and instead kill on sight order was issued. I scratched my balls in bewilderment and started thinking. Why are we supposed to ignore any communication attempt? What is so important that powers that be wanted her deader than the last horse I beat? Though being a devout follower of the Great Empress, I decided that it would be just fair to let the person speak before she's executed. And so, I started gearing up to defend the salami sandwich. <laughs> oh wait, I mean salami. I seriously should get breakfast out of the way first. As it happened, there were others with the same stance. There was even a whole organization created for this. The Premonition Allied Coordination or PAC for short. I figured, sure, why not, I can join in. And upon arrival, I was greeted and briefed on how things would be done. Since I didn't have a ship ready for combat, I chose the interdictor role. My task, interdict, and therefore slow down anyone gunning for Salome. And so, the first order came through, meet at 46 Seridani. After some light engineering on my courier, I headed out. Upon arrival, I spotted multiple commanders, mostly in couriers and imperial eagles, filling out the same role I was. After some greetings, we finally got assigned to different fleets, and yours truly got the short end of the poop stick. I got shoved into fleet number 2. Our first order was to meet at HP 1450. Upon arrival we had to form small wings of 3 or 4 and as luck would have it, Commander Optimus Grind took me in. At that point I presumed that he was a gay version of a transformer abusing the grinder wrap and that's why he had such a name. Truth be told, I never found out the truth. In our wing we also had Commander Iso kicks that I can only presume maliciously kicks Isos in the nuts. You know, those Isos from Tron movies. And then there was Commander Stage 3, that seems to be so morally molested by the fact that he was always given the role of being the tree on the school place that now is the only thing that he can think of. Oh, and he also was the only one of us who didn't fly courier. Instead, he used an asp. A few minutes passed and suddenly reports came in. Salome and her followers had started their journey. Another few minutes passed and we started seeing enemy ships incoming. As I watched my fellow commander started interdicting every uncleared ship, I began feeling something. I should have gone to the bathroom beforehand. Now I'm not only bursting at the seams from the tension, but also because my bladder is about to explode. After a while, things calmed down. And eventually we got our next orders, move to F. Feridani, about thousand light years from our current position. Gotta get back, back to the bubble, Salome! <coughs> um, sorry, never mind. As my wings started moving with each following jump, I started lagging behind more and more. Was it my inability to pilot properly in supercruise or was it my bladder? No matter what it was, in that short journey my sweet banana X-wing wannabe got cooked a few times and... That also probably didn't help my traveling, um, efficiency. Nonetheless, I finally reached the destination and figured, hey, I'm close to Alliance system with a functioning toilet. I know, it's a miracle that they actually have one. So how about I go demolish it? I mean, fix up my ship and demolish their toilet. Soon after, the deed was done and I rejoined my wing and as it happened, we were still on standby for orders. Some small reports were popping in, but nothing substantial. We still kept interdicting a few combat vessels that passed through, but even their activities were few and far between. I started wondering, what exactly are we doing? Are we being deployed as decoys or what? Then, all of a sudden, reports started coming in. Salome is in the bubble. Contradictory reports started coming in. I started hearing that Salome's ship was below 50% hull. Another one said that she's on 100%. Another one that 2%. Oh my, is this 2016 presidential election? elections once more? A moment of radio silence. Then, one report after another comes in. There has been a betrayal in the organization. Salome is dead. Salome is dead. Quick as a flash, the news spread. Though the main VIP is gone, we still have three others to worry about and soon enough, we got the message for all clear. VIPs had made it. Salome is KIA. And though she did not got the chance to share the secrets herself, Salome's followers did release some interesting information. But anyways, that's the journey of Commander Yamix. He joined up with the fleet, winged up with a cool bunch but never saw any of the VIPs in person. Perhaps he wasted his time or perhaps he can now share his grand story of how he arrived, scratched his balls and demolished an alliance toilet.